Hey guys, Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out this short sale for a client. Hang out, check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, this is 582 Boros Lane in the residential estates area. This is a short sale, which means that the bank has agreed to the list price of 1.1 to cover costs and their loan. This is also being sold in as-is condition. It's a great neighborhood in the residential estates. This house actually sits on a double lot, which is 24,786 square feet. I heard it's a little bit rough inside. It's basically a huge project. So a short sale is a little bit different from a foreclosure, whereas in a foreclosure, uh, the bank already owns the property and is basically a, you know, people think it's a fire sale, but it's really just trying to get their money back. In a short sale situation, the bank has agreed to take what is owed on the property to get it off the books and close the deal, basically. So you do have a little bit of side parking over here, not a whole lot, but you could get a little trailer or something with an eight and a half foot beam in there, probably no problem. So I was told that um, it's pretty rough on the inside the actual owner is gone and I guess the kids or family is kind of going through everything in a less than neat way, I guess you would say. So let's go check this thing out. Lots of parking under here, eight foot entry door. Let's go check out this mess. All right, guys, so this is a four-bedroom, five-bedroom pool home built in 1975, 4,358 square feet. Again, this is a short sale listed in the residential estates area. 1.1 million is what the bank has agreed to take, as is, no repairs, no seller or buyer credits. It's kind of a, is what it is, and it's a mess. So this is two story, which you can do in the residential estates area. It's also underground utilities, typically natural gas, but I think this one's on propane. So the kids came through here and just made a mess of everything. I guess they all can't be great, right? Let's go just walk around and see what we can find. There's no water or power in this property. So you have a little bathroom off the living area. So you have like a little dining room maybe. Another little living room. So since it's being sold as is, I'm assuming that kind of what you see is what you get as far as like the furniture and stuff. It's pretty rough, but the house itself seems to be okay. Got a pretty big kitchen. Little skylight. Door out to the backyard, little kind of pantry area. Super rough. Got a cool lake view out of the kitchen sink though. Let me zoom in so you can see what it looks like. Nice view of the lake and Cupcake Mountain. Another sink. 
Both sinks have RO at the sink. This looks interesting. Another skylight, not even gonna attempt to open the fridge since there's no power. Another little living area, fireplace. Looks like it's a gas starter. Another killer lake view out of this uh, little living area. Also looks like there's uh, moisture damage on the ceiling. Could just be condensation from the AC, but who knows? It's all about due diligence, especially since this is being sold as is. You would still get your 10-day buyer inspection period, and then if there was any DL killers in there, we would just bail out with no uh, risk at all. Looks like they went through this pretty well and picked apart everything they wanted to grab, I guess. Pretty rough. Ooh. If I don't come back, send help. See if I can make my way over here. Jesus. Oh. So you have your master bath. A walk-in closet. Big walk-in shower. I can get in here. Jetted soaker tub. Door out to the backyard pool area. All right, let's keep moving. See what else we can find. All right, back out into the living area. Let's go this way and see where this goes. Well, let's just head down the hallway. Just kind of wraps around to the front of the house again. You have a little closet. At the end of the hall, you have another bathroom. Super thrashed. Is that a skylight? And this evidently is where your washer and dryer would live. And then you have another bedroom. A little closet. So it looks like there's more uh, moisture damage to the baseboards and also at the ceiling here. There's a couple of little spots in here. If you can see that, I don't know. It does have tile floors. All right, back down the hallway. Another bedroom. Jesus. They really picked this place apart. I said, oh shit. I'm trying to make the make it out of here alive on this one. Like I said, they all can't be great, right? Closet. And we have across the hall is another bathroom. There's a skylight in here. And a little walk-in shower. Shower door. And another bedroom. The door out to the backyard pool area. So we have some more moisture damage in the ceiling in this room as well. You can see it in the baseboards too. This looks like it's at least two by six construction. The walls are pretty thick, which is good out here for insulation value. 
Little closet. All right, back out into the hallway. I also noticed there's some water damage off of the skylight, which is kind of typical out here if you're not keeping an eye on it. So I guess we're going upstairs. Let's go check it out. So you have a, another living area up here, fireplace. Oh, Jesus, broken china. Little bar area, which is pretty cool, but there is also water here. So this goes down to the bedroom we were just at in the corner. So there's actually some mold on this particular spot. Mold is mold. It's not a huge problem out here because the the environment's so dry, but you know, mold's mold. There's a pretty cool like balcony off of here. Killer, killer lake views from here for sure. Let me zoom in so you can see what it looks like. November and we're still boating, so. Here's a little shot of the backyard pool setup that is fading fast. I also have a um, nice golf course view from here. Whoa, almost fell through the ceiling. There's a golf course shot. I mean, this house would be awesome if it wasn't so thrashed. I mean, it's a great location. It just seems to need way too much, especially for the price they need to get for it. You can do a, a lot with a million bucks. Let's see where this goes. Huh, this kind of wraps around again into another bedroom and bathroom. Sorry if it's dark. So here's another bedroom. There's a golf course shot out the window. Folded ceilings. You see some water damage around the middle window over there. There's also some water damage around that return. Could just be condensation, but I guess it's irrelevant at this point. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Score. So there's a little side gate here that doesn't really give you access to much and then a door to nowhere do not recommend walking out that door all right we got into the garage but um it's a little overwhelming so this property does have natural gas but it also says propane too so i'm not really sure so this garage is a two car and it's 25 feet deep so your typical garage setup oh jesus Sorry if it's dark. Again, there's no power. So, oh, where am I? Jesus. So then you have an RV garage side that's 40 feet deep. Oh. Good thing I'm not doing a live video. Whoa. This one has a 12 foot door. The two car garage is your standard seven foot unfinished and I'm not even going to attempt to get back in there 
but you get the gist of it. Alright guys, we made it out safe and sound. If you're seeing this video, that means I've lived. Alright, we're back out in the front. I'm gonna go check out the pool. So side area just kind of wraps around. Property line probably goes down a little further than that because that building has to be in the setbacks. So it probably goes down a little further. So all the cool deck is all garbage. The pool needs to be replastered now. Well, it probably did need to be replastered before they let it drain because the plaster is not really supposed to hit air or it's just going to start drying up and cracking it's not a bad looking pool if it was nice i mean all the cool deck is essentially gone you can see the popping and starting already on the steps so you have all your pool equipment over here looks like it's all roached out for sure and they have like this deck that I'm not going to attempt to step on. This is where all your snakes live down here. Good stuff. It's kind of a sad situation for sure. I have some details, but they're semi-private, I guess you would say. So if you want to hear the story, feel free to reach out to me and I'll relay what I've been told. Got a little side entry. Looks like there's actually solar. I see solar inverters over there, so the property might have solar. So I just looked it up. It does, in fact, have a solar system. However, it's a solar lease, and it's $167.41 a month for the lease that needs to be either be taken over or paid off inside or outside of escrow. So it's just another cost, unfortunately. All right, guys, have a Sulu back again with you. Hope you enjoyed that unique walk through the property over here on Boros Lane. Again, this one is a short sale. Bank approved at 1.1 million, sold in as is condition with no concessions to buyer. So it's definitely a due diligence thing. It could be real, real nice if you were able to absorb most and all of the labor costs. It's pretty rough around the edges. But anyway, I will put a direct link to the listing detail page and the current price and um, availability right below this video so you guys get all the original listing pictures, current price, etc. Of course, if you guys have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video as usual. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.